Hello everybody, my name is Uli. This tutorial is all about Emmet. Emmet is a tool what is basically in the most editors or IDEs installed. It works with abbreviations, these special expressions are passed into runtime and transformed into a structured code block. In this tutorial we learn how to use it for HTML and the nice thing is we don't have to learn much new as we can use the HTML tags and combine them with Emmet abbreviation syntax. Let's start with the nesting operators. First thing, let's check the settings with WebStorm. With Ctrl Alt and S, we open the settings. And here in the editor tab, we have as well an Emmet tab, where we here can change the abbreviation key. So the standard would be tab, and I leave it like this way. Then when we open that one, we have like HTML, CSS and JSX and today is only HTML, so let's focus on that one. And here we can enable the deprivation preview, so I leave that checked. Later I of course recommend to uncheck that because it's quite annoying then. Then we can check here the live templates. And all the way down we have here the Zen CSS and HTML and where we can change stuff and everything what is in here except like this uh, bluish color that I add by myself where you can see the abbreviation how it works and what gives you out here like this doc type here you got a full boilerplate and so on so let's start with our first abbreviation and today I'm focusing all on the operators the first one is the child one and here you can see the preview and then let's tap to execute that and here we can see we have a div tag and inside the div tag we add an li and inside that one we, uh, the, we add a new l and inside that one we add an li. So the next one would be the sibling with the plus. And what it does here is we getting all on the same level, so we are not climbing inside, so we are not uh, going inside like with the child. What is go a good thing when we want to add tags on the same level? Other ways, let me demonstrate like the climb up. So first like this abbreviation so that we have a little bit more to see. And then I used the carrot sign for climbing up. What it does here is, as you can see, we are inside the p tag and then we're climbing one time up. So now we have on the same level than the, the block quote. And here we're climbing in two times. And when we are climbing two times up, we are going outside of as well the stiff. So this one goes inside the p tag, then inside the span tag. And here we go two times up. So in a rule of thumb, you can say when we're climbing two times in, and we want it going out, we have to climb two times up. So next thing is the multiplication. And here we can use then the asterisk sign and add five times the li tag. We can as well grouping all those stuff with uh, parentheses. And what it does here is we add the div tag and then we are grouping this one with the header and executing it here more times, going inside and so on. So that would be this one. Then we have on the same level main. That's this one here. And then of course we have our last one, the footer, where we have the footer tag and then inside the p tag. That's that way. And would be then copying this one and removing all the parentheses and go all the way to the end and execute that one. You can say we are not getting the same result as before. As we are having the header and so on and then we have here main tag, another li, another main tag because um, Emmet doesn't know what to do here and created a lot of nonsense. As well we can add 
IDs and classes, IDs with the hashtag and the class with the period. And as well, we can combine that with um, a hashtag for the footer and then three classes, no spaces inside here. Other thing what is interesting, the custom attributes. So here we immediately add then the target and the title, everything what is in square brackets. We can add then quotes for the title and jumping then in for the href and then later for the target with the tab. Other thing is like when we want to create, uh, for example, classes with numbers. We can do that with the dollar sign and then um, the asterisk and five. So we have now the item one, two, five. As well, when we want to add some leading zeros, we can do that with uh, more dollar signs. We can, of course, reverse the list with the add and minus sign. Like here, the dollar sign, the add sign and minus times five. And if we want to start uh, not from zero, for example, the tree, uh, not from the one, the tree. So we can add like the add three and then times five. And as you can see, we are starting with three to seven. Other interesting stuff is like adding immediately text with curly braces. And here we add then an anchor sign and then click me. Or we using then the sibling operator and add it like that way. Of course, we can combine this with the uh, child and the sibling, adding even um, text without the tag, like this way. We are clicking here and then add another just like with the curly braces. But keep in mind, if you uh, not would climb inside here, then the result is this way. So we, where we have then separate the, the p-tag and then to continue where we are here completely inside the p-tag. So when we are using the child operator inside and we wanna climb out, we have to use the caret. So keep in mind when we are climbing inside and we wanna climb out it, we have to use the caret sign. That's all for me. I hope you liked it. By the way, if you want to read about the stuff what I showed you here, you can browse on the Emmet website and here in the documentation approbations you can find all the stuff here. Please consider to subscribe. Hit the like icon and share my video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and watch my other videos.